Hey, happy Saturday. I just thought of such a fun idea, something that I haven't done before ever in the history of my ever. <laughs> um, I'm working on a blog post, something that I am so excited to share. It's probably not what you're expecting, um, but a while ago, I used to be a lot better about sharing at home with Becky type of posts, things around my home, things that I do um, in our home. Anyway, so I'm standing in our guest room right now, and I getting ready for um, the arrival of our student exchange, no, foreign exchange student chaperone. She's not a student. Anyway, I'll introduce you to her later, but um, she's going to be staying in our guest room for a few weeks. And so the idea that I have is that I am going to share all of my thoughts on how to prepare to have guests in your home, whether you have a dedicated guest room or not. So this is something I hope that we'll have ready to share in the next week or two. But today, I, as I'm pulling together these last minute details for Laurie to arrive, um, I just, I'm gonna run errands. And I thought I would just take you guys along for the ride in my behind the scenes preparation of how we pull together a blog post like this. So that's the thought, should be, should be fun. Um, I'll tell you what's not fun is, <laughs> My air conditioning up here in the front of my house where my guest room is, is not like totally <laughs> getting down to the temperature that it needs to be. And I didn't know that until this morning, of course, because we just got home last night from, from um, our road trip. We've been gone for a couple of weeks. Anyway, follow along as I prepare the guest room and prepare for a blog post to share with you. It's so random to do behind the scenes, but I woke up with that idea. Also, real quick, um, this necklace that says I am Project Life is in our shop, so this is what it looks like. Naturally, home goods today. It's going to be hard for me to resist showing you guys some stuff that I'm seeing that I'm not buying, but I just love. I love it. I love these. These white baskets are also really great. That's that's great there's some more down here too hang on one sec babe claire's with me she's my best shopping buddy yeah these are really nice pretty sure this is a score it smells really good it's called citronella it smells yummy and i love this natural touch is kind of something that i'm adding here and there and bonus it's on clearance i totally dig artwork that's dimensional and that you can tell someone had to hand put together that is really really cool and 50 bucks and just a great piece so again this is awesome I love it okay so that's like printed on but if you look down they have oh there you go you can see like little nails and string that is awesome this is exactly something that was on my list Exactly, which is some sort of art that represents where we live. And we have saguaro cactus all around us, and I love it, but I'm bummed about something. So I know the light's kind of shining through behind, but see that line there and then that line there? Those are, right, it's on the back. Isn't I can't really tell if that's like just light coming through or indented. So again, just to reiterate, I because we're building a home, this isn't something that I'm interested in investing in my current home at all, except that I'm thinking long term and I'm thinking about how this stuff is going to translate to our new home. So um, even if it's not necessarily in the guest room, I'm thinking about how, how will this piece or that piece work in another space in the future, you know? Do not need this. Um, yet, but I can totally picture picking up mirrors like this for the next house. I love circle, wood frame, clean, classic. I'm looking for some sort of tray to like have a place for our guests to be able to put like their jewelry and things like that. So this is probably, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit big. It's mirrored. I like the price tag. It is a possibility. Of course, my shopping buddy found this. And it's hard to resist a little bit, right? <laughs> Look, I want to see the texture hold still. That is actually really cool. I don't know. It's really up your alley though, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my vision with this. And yes, I did. I did. I did it. <laughs> I picked one up. You'll see why. Okay, so 
two of these, one for Q-tips, one for cotton balls, and then putting them in this tray would be awesome in the bathroom. Okay, so this is my original thought and it is really nice, but then I see this one and I'm thinking that's probably not gonna show dust and other problems so easily. They're exactly the same price. They're both $9.99. Oh, which one? Which one? I'm not buying stuff for our house, really. Just a couple things for the guest room because I know that um, anything I get for our guest room here goes into the next house, the one that we're building. Anyway, look at these baskets. Are you kidding me right now? Those are so great. Okay, what I have in mind for this is some sort of little container crate or something where we can put water bottles and treats and things that are kind of like a welcome gift for our guests. Um, great price. I wish it were shorter and maybe a different color. Claire and I are admiring this logo and this tag, super cute. Okay, so I'm excited about something because we found this three pack. I can't buy them individually, but for $19.99, I get three of them. And so I was thinking one could be for treats or gifts. I'm not sure on the medium one yet, but the small one, guess what fits in there perfectly? These two things, cotton balls and Q-tips, which would mean I would not get this, even though I think it's beautiful. I'm being practical. I would not get this, I'd get that, and yeah. So even though these have a little bit more of a traditional formal style and these are definitely more casual, I love the I love the mix. I love the juxtaposition of that and I think it'll work. So I was gonna get just like a little glass something for fresh flowers, but hello, is that so pretty? And it's definitely got like a gold thing going on, but on the outside it's almost like an iridescent gold silver-ish. Gorgeous. Don't need it, not buying it, but I love this. Cute, huh, Claire? Mm -hmm. What are you finding? I can tell your future. <laughs> it's heavy. Okay, wait a second. So this is very similar to this. And so now what I'm thinking is this becomes like a pencil cup. And we put white beans in there to hold a few pencils or pens and a pair of scissors. And then this becomes for fresh flowers. And you guys, for real, Home Goods, I love you. It's time to check out. I think we've done some damage, some good damage. And yes, I got talked into it. This should be good. Wait a second, wait a second. We were going to check out and then I see this and I'm like, wait a second. This could be her little tray for jewelry and things and then this could hold toiletries. You know, like stuff that she might not have, right? That's cute. All right, do you see the vision here? I wasn't even, I don't even know. But like, what if this, yeah, so this tray could be for her not just Laurie, but any guests that stay with us could be for their jewelry and things. Q-tip and Q-tips and cotton balls, right? Goodness gracious, Home Goods, you're killing me. But this is good, you guys. Yeah, this is good. Okay, not buying it. Don't need it. That is cute, right? Claire, do you like that? Oh yeah. Nope, not done. Totally getting this as well. We were thinking about like a little notepad or something to have um, and also it's really unfortunate there is a smudge on there but that is that's awesome I can't leave I'm trying to leave you guys I believe this so much beauty is in the eye of the beholder take time to see the beauty around you oh my goodness okay do we need this in our life Claire no are you sure yes dang that's a good one too that's a good one I'm not gonna take time to read the whole thing, but you can screenshot it or just tap and hold if you wanna read the whole thing, but I love that. And it's 25 bucks. I'm not getting it, but I think it's really sweet. That's also really nice. Okay, we are done. <laughs> Oreo! Hi, Bubby! Pippa! Okay, so we picked up our dogs from the Chases who watched our dogs for the last couple of weeks, and we're grabbing lunch. Not at a sit-down restaurant because we have dogs in the car. We're going straight home. Um, so we grabbed Arby's drive through so that we can eat our lunch and make our way home. But anyway, I was just going to say that none of those stories were being actually published while we were in the store. I don't know if it was like a weak connection or an Instagram issue or whatever. So if any of those seem like disjointed or out of order, not that it really matters, but if they do, that's why, cause they like had to publish randomly at different times after we left the store. But anyway, yeah. And no, I'm not driving and doing stories. I do not do that. I sit still in a car if I'm ever doing stories sitting in my driver's seat. Okay, check out the pub. 
She's oh, no, you don't. Open. No, you don't. <laughs> no, me? no. Hi, Pippa. So my photographer, Claire, is actually coming over to my house this afternoon and is going to take some pictures for this blog post that I speak of. Mm -hmm. And so I am, as soon as I get home, I've got to pull some finishing touches together so we can pull this off. Also, as I eat um, curly fries, I have one more thought to share with you. That's a good one. Okay. I also wanted to just mention that I, um, I don't do stuff like this just for a blog post. I love hosting. I love homemaking. I love decorating. These are things that are just a part of who I am. These are just finishing touches that I never got around to in our guest room. And I thought, what perfect time because we have somebody living with us for the next few weeks. So two for one. Nice. That's a good one. Back at the home front, unloading the goods from the home goods and feeling super good already about some of the purchases. And now I just need to pull together these finishing touches before Claire gets here to take pictures. I'm in the, um, in the grocery store in the bean aisle. Why would I need these? Because I'm gonna fill up that little um, thing, vase cup, I don't know what you call it. And that's how I will hold scissors and pens in the guest room. Also, I'm not overly impressed with my um, local grocery store's flower options. I wanted to put fresh flowers in the guest room. So I'm gonna stick with Simple. Um, I thought this was called Baby's Breath. Maybe that's the official name. Also, I am seriously running out of time and I re realized, remembered, that I still need to be dinner for everyone tonight. Laurie, my family, and the sweet couple that picked her up from the airport. Seeing the strawberries reminds me um, that that is just probably the quickest salad I can make. It's the strawberry apple poppy seed salad. I'm going to do that. What month is your birthday? Uh, what? We could have like a joint birthday party. We always do. Thank you. Hey Claire. <laughs> Claire loves being in stories. Tell me about how much you love being on video. I like, so, so I like it. <laughs> Are you following me, Pippa? Hi, Claire. Best assistant ever, right here. <laughs> and third in command. Why are you hiding? <laughs> I think Claire. Are you being inspired by the other Claire? I was already inspired. Yeah. Nice shot. By my own. And you. Aww. I don't know if you necessarily wanted a shot of the whole room, but I figured... Yes, I do, actually. Might as well. You wanted, like, this, right? Okay, so to wrap up behind the scenes on this particular... Thing that we decided to pull off, we meaning me. <laughs> and Claire is such an angel because she came on a Saturday to my house to photograph this room because my beautiful guest is arriving in like 20 minutes and I still need to make dinner. <sighs> Am I sweating? <laughs> the answer is yes. I don't know if it looks like it, but anyway, so we're done. We're done. We did this. Um, we're going to make this blog post happen like in the next um, probably week or two, like I said. Not usually this chaotic, but because Laurie is going to be living with us for three weeks, that means her stuff is going to be filling this room. And so we needed to squeeze this in between me getting home from a road trip and her arriving. And anyway, yeah, it's going to be fun. Special shout out to the fan that's blowing like crazy above me because the AC company I tried calling is not answering the phone, and so we we're trying to cool it down. Also, a special shout out to the zit that is showing up on my lip, of course. And also Claire, my hero of the day. Claire number one, my sweet girl, because she went shopping with me. I love you, sister. Love you too. And Claire number two is my friend, um, and currently our photographer who totally came in and took beautiful pictures. I can't wait to see them, and she is beautiful.